<laughs> I mean, you're Probably not as much as you do. Well, it gets sweat a lot. It Are gets, we okay? It gets... I have my powder here. Okay. If you need do to... You, wait, 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 wait. I think yes. I'm going to need we're to powder in, we're in you Zurich. before. We're in Zurich. You have your powder here. Yes. It actually, it looks like the same powder. Do you want to see it? It does, not it? it? Yeah. yeah, actually, I'm, 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 I'm intrigued. Hold on, I'll show you. Can I adjust these? This is it. Oh, Jesus Christ. That and does I look... always, I put it like on my hand and then... Oh my God, you're such a pro. Like... Yeah, yeah, totally. Oh, you you use rituals. Well, no, that's the that's just where I put my powder in. Ah, uh, <laughs> I was wondering. I, I, I would like... I'm that's like not a, that's conditioner is not a powder. No, I'm an experienced powder user. <laughs> uh, let's discuss the elephant in the room. Um, as as a Swiss person, I, I struggle with lateness. With lateness? Oh no, is that about me now? <laughs> okay, Dean is Dean's not here yet. No, so... he's terrible late, but he's South African, so that's his excuse. That counts. All right, I'm half Tunisian, so I'm half late. <laughs> so it's a struggle every time. Is, like, it is, but okay. actually, it's basically a mental debate. Yeah. So first, I'm gonna give you my story why I'm late, and yes. then we're gonna listen to Dean's story. You're late as story. well. That was... You fucking hypocrite <laughs> saying I'm late. I heard you come up. She over. has a. So I have reason. a valid reason. Okay. I, I, you know, I don't have a valid reason. Well, we'll we'll. Decide we'll that fight. together. <laughs> we'll, we'll see that. The, uh, uh, Harry and I are going to be the jury okay. on this one. So my story is: <laughs> so I came from Basel with the train, and my train stopped in the middle of a tunnel. And then they said that there was a train in front of us stuck, and we had to wait. And then after ten minutes, we actually had to pull out. <laughs> so wait, we so were... wait, the train would go backwards? Yes, we went. Yes. <laughs> 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 we very Look. slowly, <laughs> pulling carefully out, pulling out. Pulling out is a safe thing. Okay. Yes, that <laughs> was the safe thing to do. And blaming do. it on SBV is a bullshit excuse. And then... <laughs> They're not good at double penetrating. No, wait, wait, wait. It's <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. But Leila <laughs> sent me evidence. She actually, re this was the, probably the most Swiss thing you did, is you recorded the voice explaining how oh, late it's going to be and yes. sent it via WhatsApp. The PA system? Yes. Was it some nervous train driver? <laughs> no, I mean, it was a train driver that doesn't really speak English very well. Nice. So it was kind of, it was cute. But yeah, they were kind of panicking and then they were reversing and then they were going in again. And then it was a disaster. <laughs> really? Anyways. That, that, that's <laughs> never a good choice. Never a good choice. <laughs> you, you should not double tap on that one. I know, I know. Dangerous. Did they ask consent? This is all I'm worried about. <laughs> I think if the tunnels already has two trains <laughs> in, I think it's... <laughs> That's you, can you can fit a third. <laughs> it's stuff. Whatever that tells into, I support. Okay. All right. Um, what, what about you, Dean? Come what's on. Your, what's your story? First of all, I'm South African, as I heard coming yeah. up here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Second of all, no, like, look, I was reading Harry messages. And I was like, yo, guys, 7 p.m. at the podcast tower. That's what I said, right? And then the next message was, yeah, 7 p.m. at Christian Breaker. Because it was Harry confirming with you that uh, I read, oh, it's at Christian Breaker's house. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, but that's just... that's just you know, shift the blame onto the boomer. No, it's yeah. not. That's, <laughs> that, that's, that's just Zuma's... No, no wait. Okay, okay so Dean, what you're just saying skills. is that you don't know how tacking works. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so who's the real boomer around here? <laughs> it seems like you are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my bad. All right, Over okay, here. so uh, Layla hmm. wins. <laughs> also, yeah, because she Thank had two you. trains in so, a tunnel. I mean, <laughs> so that, that means, Layla, that you are the winner of your rider. So I got you some water. Thank you that I asked for. <laughs> and uh, and also we got you the like. Look what's going to happen now. You actually Delito. did, but I'm just going to eat this entire time. Harry Wait, is giving no, her. No, it's now. Oh, hold on. I haven't even opened it. I bet this is like. A chocolate penis or something. Most likely is Harry. It's, no, they are they're a good it's Christian heavy. company. They don't do penises. <laughs> oh, it's actually just normal chocolate. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just lost that my one's shaped like a train. With two dicks in it. <laughs> okay, I need some technical help. Oh, I know no, what so you're doing there, Harry. What am I doing? So grooming. <laughs> <laughs> Am I not too old to be groomed? Does uh, grooming have an age? Old enough to be. I think you've definitely been groomed by now if you were going to be. <laughs> <laughs> if it would have happened. The way was he looked happen. at me as well. So <laughs> fucking creepy. <laughs> what? Welcome to Harry. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. All right, okay. Yeah, I, I think if, if it happened. I don't know. You really want to eat this out. It's going to melt. 
It's just going to be a melty. I think it's going to melt tea. regardless, though. I think it's. It's how chocolate works. Uh, yeah, I guess it would. But you could cool. Okay, whatever. No, how about it? <laughs> and they, your, they do amazing idea. chocolate, by the way. You don't really get that in Basel. This is no, why so I the came. reason the reason for the rider, by the way, was like. Layla Did you actually send the rider? We agree. I said because basically what was going on is you had all kinds of things happening. Like like acting jobs and like modeling I jobs I'm busy. and comedy sets, <laughs> and, and she's like, oh, I don't know if I can make it. And then it was like, and then you said like, oh, do, could we do it at a different time maybe? And I'm like, okay. And then he said prosecco and chocolate, and, and I was like, oh, and all you're right. studying as well. So yeah. I said like, okay, then what can we do for you to make a more pleasant experience? Wow. And I, I got the chocolate and, and he I got said, the prosecco. I said prosecco and yeah. Yeah, you got the fermented juice there. Yeah, and like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it goes. I wonder how like how many episodes you record over how long we can hear Harry B sound and how much time we've wasted. Oh my precious life. About a day. About a day. It's a whole day. Yeah. But I have to listen to that shit as well. No. You know what I mean? It's like the other thing is a pain. Let me throw in the phone. Let me start. Oh, let's do that stuff as well. Start a podcast. Oh, welcome everybody to the X, Y, and Z podcast. I'm here with two annoying fellows called Christian Breaker. G'day. And Layla. <laughs> <laughs> and Dean Ira. Hey. Is that all you got? That's all I, I said. That's hey, all you've that's got. What you get here late and you bring a hey, energy. I, I brought funny earlier. Okay. All right, We're just right. getting started here. It's fucking and, hot in here. And today, it and is. today, yeah, we're sweating like pigs, but we're we're lucky to be we're very privileged actually <laughs> let's escalate this <laughs> yes one more <laughs> to be joined by the lovely oh wait wait, wait. the amazing <laughs> i was gonna Who say is she again? i was gonna say lila no don't the lovely Layla ladari is that pronounced Fuck, correct? is, is it that me. complicated to pronounce that I could. You don't know. <laughs> Did you live in Tunisia, motherfucker? Maybe like this. It, Layla Ladari. It's 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 how how complicated. Maybe there's a soft D. Okay. Who knows? No, there actually is a silent <laughs> H in the name, but I cut it out because who needs a, a silent, silent H? H. <laughs> Where you go after the D? Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Because it's like a, the. Yeah, Layla Ladari. Ladari. Yeah. yeah. And we know Layla as a. As, well, we don't know you as an actress, but we know you're an actress. We know you as a comedian. Mm -hmm. You're killing it right now. Totally. Uh, you, like, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, sorry, I, I've seen you kill in shorts three days ago. In shorts? Yeah. Why are you wearing shorts? Why is he looking at my shorts? the shorts, shorts? killed or the comedy? He, he stored shorts. a mental image. Oh, no. you guys made fun of my sporty shorts, I remember. No, wait. Okay, okay, so I personally have an issue with going on stage in shorts, but this is just me. It's mm -hmm. like my, my, my own body doesn't lend itself <laughs> to be um, it more does. naked than it's supposed to be. Um, I have really fat legs, okay. so, <laughs> so I have what what it's uh, internationally known as rugby legs. So yeah, those are great legs. <laughs> yeah, that's hot. It sounds more no? like sumo legs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, it's more like that. But um, we we were at uh, Contiki mm -hmm. after a tremendous train wreck that was a Swiss German comedy show. <laughs> yes, <laughs> right before, and you painful. fucking nailed it. You 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 killed it. It Thank was great. You. Thank you so much. I would say the same to you, but I think I was no, in the wasn't. toilet. <laughs> you weren't even in. <laughs> I, wasn't. I think I was peeing. I'm sorry. You, you walked out and grabbed a drink. And it's like, Probably. you walked in. I remember this distinctly. You, you walked back in. I was done with my set. And you go like, are you already done? It's like, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> sorry. Yeah. sorry. So you're, you're basically you're like you're riding high on a comedy wave right now. Is that what's... I mean, if you guys want to call that, yes, sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with that. Do you know, it, what, it, what's uncomfortable for me is that I think every time, like, <laughs> sitting I next to a woman, uh, sweating mm, like a pig. Is sweating. <laughs> I get sweatier every time. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're literally no, no. sweating like a pedophile so on a we, playground. We, exactly. <laughs> we, were, we were talking about. I thought, you know, like we were we were talking after the show on mm -hmm. when was it Tuesday and talking about the podcast and and you were like, yeah, all right, I'll join on the podcast. No, that's not what I said. I said, why haven't you had me on your fucking podcast uh, yet? Okay, I was trying <laughs> to be I, nice. I've heard that. One. I was trying not to make you sound no, desperate. No, yeah, come on. 
Mm -hmm. And I thought, wow, the, like, there's something happening between us here. And, um, and then I'm like, let's get you to the podcast tower where okay. it's very <laughs> So sweaty. Harry cannot read signals. <laughs> Harry can't. It's impossible for him. I was about him. to say, no, I, I, did, I, did, I, did I make you feel a certain way? I, felt, I, had, a, I had a feeling. Oh, God, thought, our legs just touched. <laughs> Oh, it's happening. <laughs> no, I'm and then chocolate oh. and Prosecco. Oh. And, then, and then I was like, well, so what topic do you want to talk about? You went straight for... Okay, I had two <laughs> vodkas. <laughs> did I really? Did I come up with this idea? You came up with the topic. I'm surprised as well, because this is something Harry would usually come up with. Yeah. I'm innocent in this instance. You're never oh. innocent, Harry. I, I, innocent -ish. Once innocent I heard the innocent. idea, I was like, yes, you, know, you this is attached yourself like a leech. I think we were talking about vaginas before. And then we started talking about the podcast. And then we were like, what are we going to talk about? And then we just said vagina. Who said it first? This was you what? said. Who said it first? I, she said, let's do vaginas. I and think like, it was a joke. But then the next day, we were, stuck. We're, yeah, we're just going to go with that. Yeah. If so, I hear anything like that, he's oh, like, he oh, oh, down so documents. I, I came prepared. <laughs> What the yeah. hell? The, for, oh for my the God! Home. Jesus, this, okay. is, oh. this is material for Lichon. I actually sent him this. Oh, you, you do you have this on your Instagram account? <laughs> okay, yes, I do. so we, we're going to post this on our Instagram account, but we're going to come back to this. We're going to come back before we dive into uh, vaginas. the vaginas. Is this, this looks like a menu on a bad, bad like uh, pizza place. You know? That's Oysters. from a hippie book. My mom, <laughs> hippie book, gave to me. This oh, is all I have the an idea on how well. these got really... painted. Then, <laughs> yeah, are you? Yeah. <laughs> It could be magic mushrooms as and, well. Yeah. <laughs> so, so let's first find out a little bit. Can we, okay. can we get into who into is me? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel yes, like I'm already... Yeah, yeah that train is already in the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> but um, we get, we're going to use that. <laughs> we're going to use so, that too. What do you want to know about me? So, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> let, let me start. So, okay, you are... Half Tunisian. <laughs> a quarter Austrian, a quarter Swiss. Quarter Swiss. You grew up in Switzerland? I did, yes. And you now actually live in the UK and you're visiting Switzerland. Do yes. I have that right? Yes. I'm still studying in the UK, but currently everything's online. So I'm just going to be here until they call me and they... Why did you decide to come here, though? Because uh, <laughs> my my life was a train wreck <laughs> and COVID happened. And then I broke up with my boyfriend. And then I was like, where do people go that give up on their lives? <laughs> <laughs> Correct decision. And my dad, he kicked me out when I was 14. And I realized he owes me about four years of free rent. So <laughs> is, is your dad the Tunisian yes. and your mom's the half Austrian, Austrian Swiss? Swiss. Yeah. So, what, what, so wait, wait, wait. I want to, I want to go want, into yeah, this. Yeah, so did mm -hmm. you... So was your mom like on a holiday in Tunisia, like as a kind of a hippie, and then she she met your dad, and he he, he just impressed her with his Tunisian with his dick. No, macho. No. no. Okay. I, was, I made a whole story. Here. Interesting, with interesting angle, yeah. though, Harry. Why would two of the most boring nations actually combine and create your mother? Um, that's a good question. Actually, I don't know. Austrian, <laughs> a weekend in Ibiza, Austria maybe. and Switzerland is like, they're incomprehensible on both ends. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I have no idea. But my grandma, she's the Austrian one. She's, I mean, she's amazing. I don't even know my granddad. So I have like no Swiss family, actually. Right. So but people don't have Swiss family in general, right? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> like, Swiss people don't hang out. I've got family in Ulster. Oh. Never seen them. Oh, really? Yeah, mysterious people. I, I would even say that Swiss people don't actually exist. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I'm here. There's a whole lot of people claiming You're to not be Swiss. Swiss. And if you ask a few questions, it's like, yeah, my granddad went to, like, I don't know, Argentina. And yeah. actually, I'm... Yeah, yeah. Like, there is... I'm actually Nazis. a member of the SS. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> exactly. You're, and you're half German now. Like, <laughs> that explains a lot. <laughs> but, okay. Okay. So, my dad <laughs> studied in Germany. And then he studied in Switzerland. And they met, actually. He was on the... No, my mom was on the way out from a club. And he went in. And he was like, oh, I like her. Come back into the club. And then... Uh, uh, uh. Really? Yeah. Did he club her on the head and drag her back in? <laughs> Probably. Africa what, style. What, what, what year are we talking about here? Oh my God, I don't know. Roughly, like 70s. 
Yeah, sure. What well, club? Sure. Let's, let's go with this. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, just trying, I'm just trying to figure out what his pickup line would have been. 70s pickup line. <laughs> in Germany? <laughs> oh, in German. No, I was in ba- Oh, yeah. Was it? Yeah. It was, was in Basel. He, he, speak, he was speaking German. Yeah, speak. he's one of the only people that I know that learned the proper high German first. And oh. now he speaks Swiss German. Because usually like, people like just... Like proper accent free. Ugh, I mean, I'm not going to say his accent free <laughs> but he speaks swiss german fair enough yeah that's good enough for me yeah i, I think it's cool because usually people that sw- speak um high german they never adapt to swiss german but he i'm in this problem as well like i can't <laughs> get rid of the high german i can I've understand ne- swiss german. i've never you heard speak, you speak high german you don't speak german yeah sicher also ich kann oh. ich kann oh, mehr oder weniger fließend deutsch reden ich verstehe auch schweizer oh prove wow it. okay like, Wow, okay, now at, something's look happening. Look, look, <laughs> look at how I'm she's feeling. looking at me right now. She's so <laughs> which is our sexy hat. Yes, wow. they are. Our German is not a sexy <laughs> language. No, it's not. Depending on what kind yeah, you like. Désolé, uh, <laughs> je ne parle pas français. Yeah, I don't. Li- My dad speaks French, so that oh, doesn't okay. do anything Good. for me. <laughs> so that's that's fine because I don't speak <laughs> French. No either. daddy issues. Did there. you did you learn right. Tunisian? Like mm, Arabic, that is? No, he tried, but it just didn't really work. Didn't stick. I mean, I can no, I can say fuck off. He taught me that on vacation in Tunisia because all the that's an important phrase to yes, learn. Yes, yeah. and bread, those two things. <laughs> <laughs> we, in which order? Fuck off and bring me bread, <laughs> bitch. Yeah. Or if you're really angry at a piece of bread, you're like, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what did? What are you studying in London? Psychology. Really? So it's yes. comedy for you. Ah, oh, this is sorry. I'm, I'm, I have to go there. It's comedy for <laughs> you, just like figuring out how fucked up people are. No, or definitely how fucked not. Up you are. No, I always just, I mean, first of all, my dad, he's really funny. He would always make fun of like tourists on the beach and just walking after those like thong wearing women and just like <laughs> pretend he's like one of the Russian a real tourists. Clown, clown. Yeah, he's a so real he clown. He can do a great bikini clad woman. Yes, impression. he definitely can. I nice. actually met your dad. You did. I, I, I will never forget this. He's. One of the few people on this planet that can wear a fedora without looking like a twat. No. <laughs> yeah, that's the Tunisian. He, he pulled off down. the fedora and it looked really good. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty cool. How, what year are you in your psychology studies now? First, first year. I finished with first. Yeah. Okay. So second. Well, is there like a specific kind of category of psychology you're doing? I mean, not at the moment, but I would like to get into couples therapy. That's my goal. Because uh, I was wondering if you could do like a psychoanalysis. Okay, that, that, mm-hmm. that, that, that brings us <laughs> that brings us closer <laughs> to, <laughs> to, to to where we are headed with this. So, okay. um, you have uh, a history. <laughs> it's actually a therapy session. Yes. <laughs> you can do. Oh God. <laughs> You have a for history you guys of for uh, me. everyone. I think. <laughs> you have a history of like um, a therapist in your family, right? Yeah. So my mom, she's a she's a sex therapist. Yeah. She it started on basically like a tan- they call it the tantric journey, where you basically get rid of all your trauma, sexual traumas, and stuff. And then she started to do courses, and she's giving tantric massages to women and men. A lot of people that have traumas, for example, and kind of want to get rid of those traumas, you know, like people that have like pain during sex or like, I don't know, horrible images coming up. Sounds like me. (laughs) No, I'm kidding. No, you're creating (laughs) pain. You are. Yes, you are the cause. (laughs) You you do have a lot of sexual trauma to you. Exactly. (laughs) There's a lot of psychological. There's a lot of people with sexual trauma. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. That's for sure. They're, they're moving on. It's so. <laughs> they've got a new My mom's sex clients, yeah. probably. So, but Harry did, waits did, outside. Did, 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 did your mother talk to you guys about this? Like always, it was too much information twenty four seven. Oh my god! This, oh, okay, uh, this is like that shit. movie Meet the Fuckers. Yes, I always thought that it's kind of like that. a documentary. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. But so. she did. She doesn't put like um, whipped cream on her tits, and <laughs> ah, <laughs> oh, she doesn't go that far. No, no okay. she. Did, I mean, there is too much information at all times. But also, I got used to it so quickly, and I think I would always try to provoke her a little bit and see how far I could go. And um, I think, yeah. I don't know. You just get used to it. She speaks about everything, like premature ejaculation, dinner table. She just... But would it be so much that... So I, I grew up with a nurse uh, okay. as a mother, mm-hmm. wh- which would overshare um, really gnarly stuff, mostly oh. blood and other bodily fluids. Mm-hmm. And 
uh, would it become mechanical at one point? Like you, you just you just hear these stories, but it, it's no longer actually interesting. You just mentally check out and go, all right, she's talking about pussies as well again. Mm. Like, no? no, I don't have that. I get grossed out. That's that's probably what happens to me because I always have to tell her too much information. Like I don't want to hear this. I don't yeah. want to hear about her sex life. I don't want to hear about her. I don't know orgasm oh, journeys. Oh, she would, and she stuff. would share yes. that as well. Oh, she fuck would me. share right. everything. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Like, orgasm journey. Yeah, <laughs> you can have an orgasm journey. I don't know if that's what it's called, but um, yeah, that no, she would rough. tell me everything. Like I would be very provoking. Like when my dad and my mom split up, and she had her new boyfriend, and I would be like. Oh, cool. So you got a new one who's got a bigger dick. And then th I would be joking. And, <laughs> and she would go like, and she well, said, well in fact, like I would have deserved a slap in my face for that. Fact, sure. And I got a slap in my face, not physically, not but dick. she answered. <laughs> she literally answered. She's like, she doesn't understand sarcasm jokes or whatever. No, she's like, Austrian. She's like, yeah, Answers. she wants to know. <laughs> like, she told me. So, yeah, it's always too much information. That's sarcasm is weird witchcraft in this country and it's was, just, it, was it actually i'm not gonna comment uh, yeah. on that All right. <laughs> Okay. All That's right. funny though. Like usually when your parents, we found the limit here now. Okay. Yeah. Usually when your parents do a certain thing, you tend to go like the opposite way, right? Do you feel like you went the opposite way in terms of like sex talk that your mom did? Ah, uh, because they are both so such opposite ways. I think I probably just landed somewhere in the middle. Because my dad, he's he doesn't talk about sex at all. He doesn't walk around naked. He's very private. And my mom, she's a hippie. She's always naked. Um, and yeah, she <laughs> she overshares. <laughs> is this too much for you guys? This is my no, life. No, no, <laughs> it, it just uh, it sounds like a fucking nightmare. It's it just... is a nightmare. You, yeah. I mean, uh, I would be in the bathroom and like brushing my teeth. She would come in and pee and just be naked, and I'm like, no. See, okay, this is the thing. I lived with a guy like this. Oh. Um. So in my very first flat chair, I lived with a hippie. But he was my age. He wasn't like an, an, an older guy, but he basically had this idea that he could have a piss um, with an open bathroom door. No. And it's it's like, mm -hmm. no, dude, that's that's not a thing. It's like, hey, what are you afraid of? It's like, it's not it's what I'm afraid natural. of. It's what I'm being grossed out yeah. by. Like, fuck you. Like, this is not something yeah. that we have to share. But it's also much worse when it's your parents, like. Yeah. I'm, I'm not sure it is, though. It, or maybe it is. I don't know. I think it's just because my, I mean, my mom's just like too much. I just want less of her and her <laughs> naked body. She, oh my God. She has like a, pr I, I kid you not. She has like a, like a, a thing of her vagina where, where they put like the clay on and stuff. <laughs> a mold. She has a mold of her vagina. <laughs> a cast, a vaginal On cast, top right. of like the toilet. And oh, I would like amazing. sometimes when her I... Her own. Yes. Is, yes. It, is it blown up or is it just No, like, it's like a one to size? one. Yes. Life and and size. She, she will point at it and go like, that's where you come from. <laughs> yeah. Like, does, what? She's having a piss. Does it, does it have a water feature? Like a, <laughs> like a little fountain. It should. <laughs> just it just does this like new stuff now. Yeah. every, oh time, every time she gets horny it just gets a little bit wet it's a no, i love it's that we're talking about my, my mama's vagina like that <laughs> <That's> <laughs> not at all. but yeah you don't want to see your first home like that hanging on the wall nah First mm. <laughs> the one that nice. you got evicted from the first yes, time, you got evicted the first from. time. <laughs> no it's not yeah it's just a constant too much information but also if i ever have any questions i can always ask her so that's cool i feel like a lot of my girlfriends always come over and like want to ask her questions about penises and vaginas and relationships and um they love talking to her about it so she was also cool about your own sexuality then yes always she would always tell me do what you want to do whatever you want to do yes yeah. and whoever you want to do see this is the difference when you grow up in a christian household that, that <laughs> absolutely like, don't doesn't touch happen anyone. Like, never you're gonna die the devil is gonna catch you and yeah. wow. don't masturbate because you fucking break your back or something like <laughs> i think my mom would you're be blind. so disappointed if if she thought that i wasn't masturbating <laughs> Dude, would she also like like this meet the fuckers like actually checking in that you're doing things right she like, like a, oh, so here we go. hold on. She gave me DVDs of 
lingam massages. Oh. Lingam in tantric. Dick massages. Yes, language is dick. Yeah. Like an actual instructional video kind of thing? Yes. Oh, okay. I watch them. I'm not going to lie. I watch them. Of course. Of <laughs> course like, you would. To know Do we is. have the same equivalent for, for, for vaginas? Yes. Yeah, there is. Yeah. There is. I actually have seen those videos as well. Do you know well. what the vagina is called? Sorry. Um, yoni? Yes, Yoni. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look, the creep. Yoni? <laughs> Wait, wait, so wait a second. So you are actually so like uh, on a scale of like once ten after you watch this Lingnum mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. Oh no. Does this mean you're now like you're like up with above a boss bitch dick masseuse, yes. God, <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> We're missing the important part here. I've spent the last thirty years. Trying to figure my way around and play with the maze and the mystery of the female vagina when there was okay. just an instructional video. Yeah, there you go. Watch the Yoni, Yoni yeah. DVD. That's what I've been saying all along. There's all this shit's on the internet, man. Uh, I've been looking at the wrong side of the internet. <laughs> nah, you, you would Probably. actually find it on new porn. Really? You would? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I yeah. Don't know. yeah it's there. So, okay, next question. <laughs> yes. Female orgasm, myth or truth? <laughs> 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 uh, a resident <laughs> new porn specialist, Christian Breaker. <laughs> <laughs> I have to put my hair up. Seriously, it's so Dude, hot in here. We're sweating like pigs. We, yeah, we can also take a can break. Just yeah, can door. we take five oh. and get another drink? Yes. I mean, Fuck it no. It's a, so vaginal expertise runs in the family, basically. That's what we're saying. I wouldn't call it that, but okay. Let's go with that. Let's run with it. <laughs> Doc it's, doctorate in in pussy. <laughs> and uh, now, I, now I actually, weirdly, so we, now I'm suddenly <laughs> feeling awkward about having this diagram here. Good. Why? <laughs> I don't know why. I suddenly, because we, well, you in, feel awkward in, about in, a in the very break. shitty decision that you've taken. <laughs> <laughs> I always make shitty decisions, and I'm, I'm very good at moving on <laughs> from those <laughs> shitty decisions. So, <laughs> like but I think it's them. interesting. A lot of people don't realize that. Well, okay, first of all, every vagina is a unique snowflake, of course, but you can. <laughs> why did you use the word <laughs> snowflake, Harry? Because snowflakes are unique. Yeah, but there's a lot uh, of like. There's, uh, in don't, give me, there. don't give me your. Let's say woke every bullshit. vagina a snowflake is being not woke. Unique. It's just analysis. Of like why every you would face say is different. Every vagina is different. Maybe you can say it like that. Oh yeah, beautifully. Perfect. Like every and nose has a different size. But, <laughs> but also like like like, you, it's like you get the, the nose being the nose, nose being the clit and then the rest. I think whatever. Mm -hmm. So you get, I mean, just like you get like different types of dick. Every vagina is like an orchid. Yeah. And what's interesting on this on this diagram, just for the camera, uh, <laughs> you have what is that? Nine types of vagina. There's obviously more though, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is. Yeah, that's just covering the basics, right? These are not the ones I see in porn. <laughs> no, the, the one that you would see in porn is the one... <laughs> the deer woman, probably. They're all labeled here with interesting names. Maybe, maybe this. So yeah, it's like the more, maybe most like but kind of... It, because, it, because of all the fucking pussy surgery that's happening. Yeah, exactly. The labia removal. Yeah. It's like, which, I, is, I which is crazy, right? It's like bacon. Is that, re is that really a thing in the porn industry? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snip, snap. All that stuff. So, like, to make the lips smaller. Yeah. So it? you don't want Audis, you want Innies. That's oh. that's what they're a cream that does reduction. Yeah, because apparently. that whole thing is yeah, like like the whole trend is is shaved and the whole trend know. is fucking it's gnarly. Yes, <laughs> children vaginas. Basically, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> literally. Uh, Although apparently, apparently, hairy vaginas are back. Yeah, because really? because of lockdown, no one could go and get a Brazilian waxing. So are patchwork jumpers. Come on, like what the <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, it was your friend that was there the other time, who is a what is she? She works at yoga teacher and Full bush. works in a maternity clinic oh yeah the, so and she sees a lot of vagina she's saying like trend is like a, like a crew cut type of well, thing these, like are, these short... are pregnant women uh yeah yeah, yeah i don't think but, they really care yeah, if, you have, no, if you call no, the preggers you don't really want to shave right? like it should like a year ago mm. it's all brazilian waxed oh and now it's now it's and yeah, now the so wax in the city are running out of business. Is that what you're saying? I don't know. I don't know, but but I think I'm. I, I think it's a good move. 
I think. Uh, yeah, back like this. Gothel Bush. 60s, like you used to. Yeah, whatever you got to do. Like, like. I think whatever women feel comfortable with, but obviously yes. there is a trend, but I hope that trend doesn't come back because I'm lasering. So <laughs> <laughs> there's no you way made back a permanent for me. decision. <laughs> well, and, and why? I mean, okay. But okay, because it's it's gonna go with guys as well. Like I have I've played enough club sports that I have seen guys with laser laser dicks. Laser? Oh yeah, full, full on. Like oh, what sport? Okay. What sport is this? Uh, football. Oh, well, it explains a lot, I guess. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. There's also the, the tub of lubricant in the cupboard. Like anyway, so, <laughs> so I can't confused. help imagining like that scene from James Bond with like a laser coming up to his dick. You wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> I just think. Have you not seen this? The, the old James Bond. Yeah, I think, yeah. It was, it was, I think it was Sean Connery in that yeah, one. Or, yeah, yeah or Roger and, Mark. I remember, but. But are guys in porn? Are they shaved or lasered? Is their hair on? Depends the on your taste of porn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty <laughs> much. Really want to go into? There's is a, a lot of spectrum. shaved, uh, okay. shaved okay. dicks around. Yeah, yeah. So I'm guessing the like the next generation, they're just all going to be shaved and. What, what's the, and... what's the saying is like um if you're cutting the leaves it makes the the trunk look bigger yeah, exactly. or something like that oh. yeah, exactly yeah that's how i get mine to look bigger than two inches hey same <laughs> just squeeze it a bit. <laughs> <laughs> <Same>. <laughs> what? Hey, large. Uh, <laughs> it's not about how long Have it's you guys just tried... about girth Sorry, dude. Have you tried the experiment where you can see what your vagina would look like as a guy? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. The man vagina thing? Where you take a picture of your lips with your tongue oh. outside the one side of your mouth. So you like put what, what? your tongue a little bit outside your mouth, like so, for the podcast audio description. No, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it. He's got a hairy your... vagina. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. <laughs> it's a ginger hairy vagina. Yeah, but, but all around. Like it, it, goes, yeah. it goes down the lips <laughs> and, and then on your taint. You you, you would be, if, if <laughs> you would I have a lot might... of hair on your taint. So these, Just... these this diagram has different names. Like you got the buffalo woman. I, I would call mine the car wash. Because oh it's got like the the brushes. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> for for the, for the listeners, you have to go on to our YouTube channel to see what my vagina looks like. Oh. <laughs> there's a there's that other one that Sarah. That's Silverman. a nice vagina. I have, to uh, say. have you seen the Thank one you. the trick Tied Sarah Silverman does? <laughs> she like she gets you to take a picture of your eye. And then rotates it, and, and then that's the vagina. Yeah, clear, yeah. Okay. <laughs> These guys are just—we got them at that level now. <laughs> oh no, that's a gnarly one. That's a gnarly one. That's a gnarly one. What the? In my entire fuck? life, <laughs> that's, that's heaps fucked. That's like a dinner lady vagina. That's a, that's a buffalo woman right there. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Is it? All right, I think we've I think we've exhausted this topic. So let's go. To, let's shall I change the topic? Sure. Comedy. <laughs> That's, That's a very brutal <laughs> cut right yeah. here. <laughs> Do you want to? I didn't segue that. What all. are you doing? It should I, have been like something like something that gets penetrated a lot. <laughs> Comedy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Do you talk about vaginas a lot on stage? Um, no, not really. Do you guys? What shapes you um, Only Harry. But uh, <laughs> can I ask you guys? Do dick. you? Do you? Only my are you like? Do you? Have you ever? So when you were like a teenager <laughs> and you you like saw your first vagina ever, was it <laughs> scary to you? Was it like shocking or something? I, I got a friend who had a very funny story of the first vagina he saw. So it was an American friend of mine. I'm um, telling the story through through a party, whatever. He climbs through the window. Typical American high school story. Climbs through the window into his girlfriend's house. Right, first time they're ever gonna have sex, and it's pitch black, and so he, they get naked under the sheets, and he's like, "I can't find the hole. I don't know where it is. I don't know how to get in. It. It's the first time ever." So he takes his old flip phone, because mm -hmm. this is the '90s, and you know those mm -hmm. luminous white lights, mm -hmm. and he shines it down there and sees the vagina in this like cell phone light for the first time. It's just like, ah! <laughs> oh my like god! And stuff. <laughs> I mean, certainly there's a thing with this, like, like because I saw the movie Alien before I saw a vagina. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Henry fucking Geiger. Have you seen the Swiss so artist? Guy, yeah. Who's, yeah. Who, he, this guy was obsessed with how vaginas Pussy. look. Yeah, you know this. No. You go look up his artwork. It's all clearly some bad shit happened to as a kid, and then he's obsessed with. Like so you you expect an alien puss? And this no, is how you I mean, relate it to him. I I think the, <laughs> that's maybe how you prepare people to see vaginas. You show them a Kurt guy. Is it not Kurt? What is it's his Kurt. name? Kurt. Kurt. 
What? What's Geiger. the artist? Oh, Henry. Henry Geiger. Henry Kurt. Yeah, Henry Geiger, Kurt. Whatever. Yeah, the Swiss. Yeah, there's yeah, yeah. a museum about him. So maybe in you Gruyere. just show them th those kind of vaginas and then they're not shocked anymore when so they see a real one. I can tell you exactly which vagina was the first vagina that I've ever saw because the um, <laughs> I, I remember quite distinctively <laughs> when we did the paper route at uh, in school. Oh. So in, in Switzerland, we, d we do paper collection. Uh, and it was done by the local school mm -hmm. and we knew which neighbor had porn oh so the first vagina that i saw was in a porn mag mm -hmm. um and it was a uh, no one else but um blonde bay watch babe pamela anderson no nice. way okay. yeah, okay. full frontal it was great so <laughs> <laughs> not scary yeah, but, but the thing that was, wasn't scary yeah. at all yeah. wait wait there's, uh, there's a difference between that and and the real thing like yeah. seeing it in real life i mean i even have no. like i even had like a shocking moment like that although i've i mean i have a vagina and i've seen many but when i had sex with my first girl and she was like very experienced and felt very free to do whatever. And she just, I think the first or second time we hooked up, she literally put her vagina in my face. Oh. And I was like, holy shit. That was your first time with a woman is like full on face sitting? Yes. So, yeah. And I have to say that was a bit much. I was like. <laughs> you think? <laughs> I was shocked. Like, I... Slow it down, bitch. Yes. <laughs> yes. She gives you a good old like slap with her lips. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> this is what we're doing now. Yes. This holy is your shit. Yes. Wow. So I can totally relate to that. I mean, I thought penises were scary at the beginning as well, but then the same. Mm. But how, was, there a big, was there a big <laughs> age difference between you two? Um, no, but she was uh, lesbian and much more experienced. I'm just right. bisexual and I dated men until I think I was like you 22. You say just bisexual, like it's like something less? No, Come but on. you don't You don't have that much. I mean, for me it's personally, I didn't have... a cause or a lifestyle. <laughs> Is that... No, I would just say I was less experienced. Sure. And I, okay. I think it was the second or third woman I ever dated. And the first time where it was like in full daylight sexual experience. Mm. Wow. And after that, I was like, yeah, she woke me up. <laughs> <laughs> That was, that was so quite a slappy awakening. Yes. Actually, here's an interesting question. So I've, I've uh, uh, yeah, I know various ladies who have expressed like they would be curious about something with a woman, like by curious, I guess. Yeah. Usually after they've spent some time with me and then they're like, <laughs> yeah, how bad can it be? <laughs> it's, at least you're honest. It's, it's got to get better than this. <laughs> and, and it's actually an interesting problem because I think, I think, you know, like you can't go to like a gay bar or a lesbian bar or something. Like it's not appreciated to have like, as I understand, like like women that are just like I just want to be a tourist and have a one night. Oh, why not? Because I well, because at least from what I've like, I did some research for one person that I was actually in a relationship with. I'm like, look, let's find out how this works. And it turns out that it's like you, the the norm is that it's very uncool to go to. It's probably because it's like sleeping with a virgin. It's like someone coming there inexperienced. It's a boring yeah, night yeah, out. You should try the gay route then. Plus it's you, much easier. Yeah. You're going with the premise of like a one night stand, which is... And no no, no one else in the bar is doing that. <laughs> Some are, but, but, but also there's a, there's a kind of dismissiveness about it is I that think. your experience as well so i'm personally not hooking up with bi curious women just because they're usually not good at it yeah they're like virgins <laughs> i get that okay, but i know a lot of lesbians like to have straight women and kind of have that tease or kind of have that I don't know so, what so it's called. I, I, I used to live with a, with a gay guy. He mm -hmm. said the exact same thing. It's actually sometimes a challenge. It's just it's the challenge. The, yeah, That's it's what just I wanted like, to say. I can yeah. fucking turn him. And I had conversations with gay guys like this in, in, uh, in bars and stuff. And just like, come on. You just haven't had it yet like yeah yeah yeah, yeah. 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 give you the best blow job you've ever had I've and i always know... wondered that so has anyone had bi bisexual experiences here yeah, so i just you. i yeah. never yeah. went further than just making out oh okay blow That's... jobs anyone no nah. I got offered that the best blowjob of you will ever have i think the fundamental but you didn't i think right. the fundamental is a bit of 
for men. Hardly work, but it didn't go further than that. With a, with, <laughs> if you're with a woman, you somehow have to be kind of a little bit holding off or a little bit careful. And with another guy, there's like such a deep understanding of what your aggression or whatever things are going on. <laughs> so have you had experiences with guys? Yeah, not, not many. Like okay. Once, in fact. Blowjob? Uh, yeah. Was it good? Uh, that was a yes. very deep breath. I'm, I'm, it's going back into so uh, much. Yeah. It's like you're going through your roll decks of blowies. Yeah. yeah. You're just like, okay, okay. that was a good one. Yeah, Laura, she was great. There were Candace. definitely women that have done it better. better. Mm. And, and, you know, ones that were, have put in the effort. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. But doesn't, does that go vice versa as well? Like, um, I, I've, I've been with women that are super eager to do oral, but then some that aren't. Is that the same thing? In no, of course. dare they? <laughs> no. <laughs> didn't, didn't mean it that way, but but is it Waste the same? Is it the same for, experience for you? Obviously, like it, it's it's horses for courses, right? <laughs> um, I have to say, I've never ever had bad sex with a woman. No, never, oh, never, what? never. It's mm. always pretty amazing. But it's it's hard to find. It's the numbers are less. <laughs> yeah. Um. It's hard to find someone you really like, you connect <laughs> with emotionally, and yeah, mm. I don't know. It's just I have much less experience with women, but those times were always think, good. <laughs> yeah. Do you think women approach it from like a emotional side more than men per se? No, I wouldn't say that. I just feel like it's just more sensual quicker guys sometimes have this proving <laughs> kind of thing they want to be like hard or whatever yeah not in yeah. that way but that way of course as well <laughs> 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 yeah dean and i can sing a song what? about this we, we, we wish we were harder <laughs> sometimes um yeah. confident in my sexuality <laughs> 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 yeah you are but yeah i don't feel like it's i always feel like the communication makes the sex good or bad mm. and if you have i mean i don't know if you have interest for the other person and you're not just trying to prove something it's always much better and i feel like with women there's more like for the other person like i want to know what this person likes it's I feel like it's more like I show you what I like more than teaching. Teaching yeah. is like a stupid word for it. But I feel like with men, it's not really like I show you what I like and you show me what I like. With guys, it's like, I'll show you what I can do to you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounds nasty, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, but guys are like that. They're like trying to prove a point sometimes. Yeah, I, I, and I, have, I now have a memory that I probably should apologize to some exes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like... You're all leaving this podcast. <laughs> It's just sending, just so, sending apologies. It's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I saw, that, I saw that Bill Murray movie, Broken Flowers. I don't know if you've ever seen it. Where he goes back to oh, all God. his exes Jesus Christ. and apologizes. <laughs> In that particular context, the title Broken Flowers sounds fucking yeah, horrendous. It, it's, that's uh, his mm. words about it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've been consistently a giver my entire life. <laughs> I just thought I'd put that out there. Yeah, I think so. You seem like you have something to prove there, Dean. I know, it sounds like it. <laughs> I'm definitely a giver. I, I'm a giver. I, I will give to you. I will make sure you get what you want. Take I'm, what I give. <laughs> I, went through, I went through a tremendous period of uh, incredibly flaccid penis syndrome. Mm -hmm. And um, I was dating a person during that time. And this was... Is that a, is that a thing? Sorry. Is that uh, an actual syndrome? Well, it's called alcoholism. But, oh. uh, <laughs> Drug addiction. Yeah, yeah. It was a whole combo and uh -huh. um, also <laughs> cocktail um, of PTSD dick. of divorce and a lot of stuff. But this um, oh. this isn't the form. No, it's okay. It's, I'm, 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 I'm a happy person. Um, <laughs> Going to flash the penis. <laughs> you're, you're, you're giving like comfort to the wrong part of his body there. Dude. <laughs> oh, no, no, what's it? happening if I go down there? Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, no, it's it like okay. a little... It's, it's, oh. it's, it's all good now. It's all good now. But there, there, mm. was, there was a moment where um, there was <laughs> massive erectile dysfunction. Yeah. And I was with someone during that time. Mm -hmm. um and that was incredibly generously treated i would go down like a motherfucker that, that was yeah. that was my go-to it's like all right at least i can give you something yeah but um that person was never 
she was never dismissive in mm-hmm. any shape or form. We there was a lot of intimacy, but th- there was. Uh, few and far between, um, like penetrative sex that, that kind of mm-hmm. didn't happen because of just because um, you're that... on point, dude. But did you feel like that kind of gave you something on top of it? Because I always feel like th- that's also why <laughs> sex with women sometimes is much better because you don't focus on the penetration so much, yeah. you just do everything else. So, what, what, what was Interesting for me was I, I was breaking out of a pattern how sex was supposed to work. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's n- not so much about ending it. It was more about enjoying the journey, mm-hmm. which... Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, just writing notes here. The, or- <laughs> the orgasmic journey. Yeah, yeah. because like um, male, male sex is very much like, all right, we start here, we end there. With a goal. Uh, um, and uh, very focused that way. And, and in that particular way, it was much more... Let's explore this, and 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 uh, it it has much more facets of, of enjoyment, and also just just being together. That was that was incredibly great. Um, even though like th- there was clearly something missing <laughs> at some point, there was like, all right, yeah, fuck, my body isn't working this mm-hmm. the, the but, way it's supposed to. But, but um, because been... of the generosity of that other person, um, I was allowed to explore that yeah. in in a very safe way, which was super cool. That sounds really nice. So did you try scissoring? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I, then, then she touched my cheese spot and it was all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But it's interesting because because I think like a lot of this, I mean, there's like the one level of people I've found, some people expect, some ladies expect that it's got to be like this kind of animalistic whatever, like yeah, go for it kind of stuff. And the others is like it's more, more, more sensual. I've even had situations where it's like if I wanted to be more sensual, it's like what? Hey, the fuck oh, and, yeah. and and it's really like 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 this kind of preconceived idea of what sex is supposed to be yeah this is like m- maybe something more tantric with and 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 i think it's partly because people haven't even discovered like that maybe if you touch your skin softly that yeah. it actually becomes a light but that's a porn thing like the the whole the whole rough um sex stuff that that's incredibly porny it's it's just what what uh, uh what what you're being indoctrinated with nowadays the majority of porn is very male focused and and very much about you, you know rape fantasy and all these sort of things can you guys tell a difference when between girls that watch porn and girls that don't watch porn yeah 100%. Yes. same for same for us yeah 100% 100% you can just tell by the language by the move it's just you can tell okay this is yeah. Porn sex. We probably have seen the same stuff. Yes. <laughs> I mean, because I I try not to watch porn. Yeah. That I mean, I used to watch a little bit, but I prefer to watch lesbian porn. And you cannot watch any kind of normal lesbian porn if you've ever had sex. No, if you've ever the, had the, lesbian sex. The one sex. when all the girls have really long fingernails. It's fucking awful. <laughs> and it's just like you can tell, like they are not like. Girls don't have sex like that. It's, no, it's right. insane. We, it's a male yeah. fantasy of how girls exactly. would have sex. Yeah. Through a couple of porn yeah. stars in a room and leave them to yeah. it. Mostly. Did you watch Sense8? Uh, it was a TV series by the Wachowski Wakowski, um, siblings. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. Um, the, the guys that created The Matrix. Mm-hmm. And um, one of the very first scenes is um, a lesbian uh, sex scene. Um, one of them is a trans person mm-hmm. um, with a strap on, and uh, th- <laughs> what happens is you see them have sex, and at the end of the scene, the strap on just falls through the on the ground, mm-hmm. and it, it just <laughs> splatters. It's just like <laughs> like all the moisture just falls off. Okay. It's incredibly animalistic mm-hmm. and incredibly un Hollywood. Yeah, it, that that was actually really cool. <laughs> anyway, that, sorry, that did was a really see, shitty um, sidebar. Did you guys see Blue is the Warmest Color? Oh, no. no. By Tunisian director. There's uh, a really long <laughs> sex scene 
um, between two women. It's a very, it's a fucking famous movie. He's like laughing. <laughs> Tunisian director. No, it I'm got laughing because like the... I remember I pictured the Nigerian directors with their oh. B-rated. So it's like a sex thing with like no. edited cool it graphics got the explosions. Can something something. Oh, I know the name of the movie. Yeah, and he, there is a, a scissoring scene uh-huh. where they just like scissor like this, and they face <laughs> the other way. <laughs> And it's a really long scene. And you just like, if you've ever scissored in your life, you're like, why would you face the other way? Like, you want to look at each other. Yes. Yeah. So you're like either ah. sitting on top of each other or like <laughs> one is on top. Of, it's ridiculous. You're I blowing, can't believe it. You're blowing my mind right now. <laughs> okay. Well, so where is the, let's, let's know, where is the joy in scissoring? Oh, it's part. amazing. So you had an incredibly great <laughs> line, but I don't want to spoil any of your jokes, oh. but can I say it? I'm you not wanna... sure what you're referring to, but yeah, okay. go ahead. So you did this in German. I'm going to translate it in English, but yes. it, 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 it got stuck in my mind. So it's precision, precision work. It's precision work. It's like two roses touching each other, each other and creating a vacuum. <laughs> yeah, it's not like, yeah, it's two openings, like two roses. You have to put them on top of each other and then to kind of push it on top of each other, create a vacuum and then Does get the friction going. Vacuum? So it's like it kind of gets like because it's like wet and kind of like yeah, it yeah, kind of like it's, it's a, like those it's, farting it's, sounds. It's, 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 it's a tiny queef. It's a it's a puss queef. That's the one risk you don't have with lesbian sex. I There's no it. queefing. So <laughs> it's kind of like two SB tra- SBB trains pulling out of a tunnel. No, oh. I mean like, like, girls. I'm sure, seen, I'm, I'm sure you've seen. I'm I'm sure you've seen a girl a come by just rubbing herself on you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. basically it. I, I had a dog at home. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so sorry. Yeah, carpet. I'm so sorry. Different Goddamn kind of, carpet. Different kind of bitch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, we are getting to the end of the show. Um, okay. Layla, yes. uh, do you have any plucks? And this is coming out in two weeks. Um, Guys, follow me on Instagram for all the yeah, we'll comedy the, events we'll that we have coming up. up. My name's Layla Ladari. On Instagram. Okay. Are you actually staying in Switzerland now? For the moment, yes. Like... For all the stalkers out there. We got lots of those. On Harry, our any flux? Uh, just that show I'm setting up again. 5th, 5th of, of September. September. Um, uh, in Your Face Comedy. Bam. Dali's uh, in Lochugut. And uh, after that, we, we're going to uh, keep you posted. Uh, by the way, if anyone is interested uh, in another live show of the X, Y, and Z pod, um, feel free to reach out. We are currently thinking about maybe going back and doing another live show. Um, pondering, yes. Pondering the idea. Um, the first one was fucking rad. Uh, and we would love to have heaps of people to do that with us again. Um, maybe a different format. We think about it. So uh, right in. Um, we are on the xyzpod.com uh, for all the contact details and upcoming shows. Very nice. Dean, just uh, have a great day. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Bye. Ciao. Bye, everyone. Okay. Oh, my God. It's so long. Yeah.